Okay, trying something new here. Uh, I'm gonna try to go through that math problem that you said you were um, struggling with. Um, and I'm gonna try to record myself and then send this to you. So we'll see, it might be a little funny, I don't know, we'll, we'll work it out, okay? All right, so my understanding is you're on that one problem where it talks about um, that kid has money to spend on gifts and he's gotta buy three gifts, okay? So he starts with um, $20, he's got $20, and he spends some on a gift, all right? So if you're spending some, you're subtracting it. So you're subtracting, and it said, yeah. hang on, it's on my phone. Aha, eight and seven tenths dollars which I think is crazy that they're doing it like that, but it's because they want you to learn fractions, okay? So eight and seven tenths of a dollar is what you're taking out of your $20. And then he buys another gift that's three and two fifths. That's three and two fifths. So he's taking from his $20 this much and then this much out. He's taking it out each time, right? Okay, so you know we need to subtract. So to start, Let's just start by looking at these two and let's just subtract these two, okay? <clears throat> so we write it a little bit down below, 20 minus eight and seven tenths, okay? And you're probably looking at this and saying, okay, that doesn't seem too bad, but this is a fraction and there's nothing over here that's a fraction to subtract from, right? Okay, so we need to make a fraction. We need to borrow out of these whole numbers to make a fraction. So if we pull out of that 20 to make a fraction, this is gonna turn into a 19. So I'm gonna rewrite it as a 19, okay? Now that one that I pulled out, what I wanna do with that one that I pulled out is I wanna write it like a fraction, but I wanna write it like a fraction that has the same denominator as this one so I can subtract it real easy and I don't have to do any of these figuring the same denominator stuff, okay? So all I do to do that is I look, oh, the denominator is 10. So I take my whole number and I write it as 10 over 10. And I subtract my eight and seven tenths. Mom, Ms. Wagner, write it right. Okay, okay. Now this shouldn't seem too bad. You should see 19 minus eight is 11. And then you should see the 10 over 10 minus seven over 10, 10 minus seven is three over 10, okay? That's the first part, we did that. We did this guy, we took him out. Now we gotta take this guy out of there, okay? So let's rewrite it. 11 and three tenths is what we have now. We're going to take three <clears throat> and two fifths out, okay? And when I look at that, I realize these two bottom numbers are not the same. My denominators are not the same. I need to make them the same, okay? Shortcut, one can turn into the other. I can make a five into a 10 really easy by multiplying five times two. So if I do five times two here, I have to do two times two there. I have to do the same thing to both numbers. Okay, so that's going to end up being three and four tenths. Okay, now you're thinking, okay, but what do I do now? Because three minus four can't happen. If you have three dollars, you can't give me four dollars. What am I going to do? Well, remember how up here we borrowed a whole number and we moved it over here? So we can borrow a whole number from our 11 and put it over here. So the whole number we wrote is 10 over 10. So we can add 10 over 10 here. So when I do 10 plus three, I'm gonna end up with a 13 here, aren't I? Okay, and then this will no longer be an 11, it's now gonna be a 10. So I'll show you what that looks like. 10 and 13 tenths. minus four, three and four tenths, okay? So that's where we are now. 
Now I can say 10 minus three is seven. Oops, let me write it down here where it's supposed to be. And 13 minus four is nine over 10. And that's where you are now when you want a fraction for this answer. Now, I'm not stopping there because I'm gonna tell you that the next thing on Zern is they're gonna ask you to put this into dollars and cents, okay? And it's, it's not quite as hard as you think because if you look at this, remember this means a whole, right? And this means a piece of a whole. So if our whole is dollars, but we broke it up into 10 pieces, think about a dollar broken up into 10 pieces. Wouldn't it be dimes, right? 10 dimes make a dollar, okay. So this really means, this is broken up into dimes. How many dimes do I have? I have nine dimes. So if I have nine dimes, I have, I have 90 cents. Okay, so now this is gonna be $7.90. That is, going to be step two. You'll get to another screen that's gonna ask you for this. So they're gonna be looking for this first, and then the second time around, they're gonna come back and say dollars and cents, and then they're gonna be looking for that, okay? So believe it or not, that's a whole lot of work, okay? And that's why it, a lot of times it says get some scrap paper and work it out, is because they want you to work it out on scrap paper because there's gonna be a lot of work you need to do to get to that one little answer right here. But if you just take it step by step, little by little, little by little, little by little, okay, you'll get there, all right? But if you get stuck again, feel free to, to retry it out. And hopefully if these videos work, I'll learn how to do them a little bit better and a little bit smoother so that it'll help you guys get through this, okay? So there's the work. Awesome, all right. You let me know if we need more help later on, okay?